Good morning. Hi. Welcome back to the vlog, you guys. It is New Year's Eve, actually. So it is the last day of 2023. I kind of wanted to do a vlog um, of our New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, kind of like resetting our house, talking about my New Year's goals, um, which I have yet to decide what they are, if I have any. I just, I, I am one of those girlies. I just love like the thought of a new year and setting new goals and new intentions and i just i don't know i like new stuff so um i just made my coffee which you guys are sitting on right now and i'm about to watch oh, what is wrong with my dogs i'm about to watch some youtube just while i <laughs> i try to do anything i try to film anything bring the camera out the dogs immediately <laughs> but anyway um i just i love the new year i love thinking about i just i love resetting getting into like a new swing of things things feeling fresh again because life can be very monotonous 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 <laughs> and yeah so having a new year fresh start kind of helps with that monotonous I did get my nails done yesterday I took off the reds I've had reds red nails since November probably um, of yeah I think I've had red nails since November and I absolutely loved them but I felt like I needed something new and something clean looking for the new year and one of my friends at work got the color OPI um, get neutral about it or something like that and I was like I need that color I'm copying you which is funny because we've had the same nails for literally like since I've been getting my nails done she has just coincidentally gotten the same nails nail colors that I have as well we don't go to the same nail tech or anything like that we haven't seen each other before we got the nails done so it's just funny that we've had the same color nails but I did copy her with these so yes one of my favorite new year's things to do is to watch youtube and watch other people's goals and resolutions because it kind of inspires me and what are my goals for the new year what do i want to get into so we're going to do a little bit of that and then we'll get into the rest of the day seeing me. <laughs> the world is seeing me. Mm. boys are gonna get trazodone tonight for sure <laughs> start out the new year. Hi. <laughs> you guys taking a good nap after your walk? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> My hair looks crazy right now, but we <laughs> went to the gym as you guys saw. Turns out they closed at 1. We got there at literally like 150. So then we ended up going to a park and doing we did like a little bit of a run and a walk together, which is fun because Seth and I usually don't exercise together. So um, we did that. We went and got coffee at this place called White Duck. If you guys are in um, Tampa off of Del Mabry, there is a place called White Duck that has the best coffee in Tampa. I am convinced. I wish they would add more locations because it's a little bit far from my house, but it's so good. Um, and if you are close to a white duck, I feel like they have them on the West Coast. Get a oat milk latte with one pump of salted caramel. It's so good. Um, <clears throat> and then we came back home. I just heated up some chili on the stove that I made this past week for a very late lunch because it's like five o'clock right now. We're going to a lightning game at seven tonight. And that's like our new year's plans and honestly it has been our new year like what we've done on new year's for this will be the second year and it's just really fun honestly a lot of our friends are out of town um and so we don't really have like a party i'm we're not like the go downtown go to a bar type of people so yeah it's just kind of like a fun thing to do and then we'll probably get dinner or like pick up a pizza somewhere come home and like bring in the new year i like to be home with the dogs because they get severe anxiety from the fireworks they hate them this year we have some trazodone that my friend gave us from her dog so we're gonna give them some of that and yeah that will be it i do need to wash my hair assess in the shower right now so i'm just going to wait till he comes out i need to put away a lot of my christmas decorations seth took down our tree Seth took down our tree while I was at work this week. He's off for 
two weeks because he is a teacher. So this little space is a little sad, but these were all like from our Christmas tree. I like took them off and put them around. You can see them like up there and just like all around here. So I kind of want to clean up that stuff, take down what Christmas decorations I can right now. I do not know why Guardians of the Galaxy is on the TV. And yeah, just like start the new year with new vibes. I literally always have Gossip Girl on in the background of everything that I do. So that's what we're gonna put on while we do this. That was the winning kick. Yeah. Oh my gosh. New Year's Eve fit. This on the back of my Kucherov? Kucherov? Kucherov. Kucherov. <laughs> Baby, come share your fit. <laughs> Go Colts. <laughs> Lightning. <laughs> second year going to a lightning game on New Year's and I feel like we're just gonna do it every year because it's just like the perfect New Year's for us where we can like go out and have fun but we're not like going to the club getting drunk <laughs> that type of thing so yeah it was super fun um, <coughs> and then honestly we came back here we watched Top Gun <laughs> which is such a good movie um, but we like right at 11:59. we switched it to the ball drop watch the ball drop went back to <laughs> top gun finish that out i think we went to bed at like 1 30 in the morning so it is now almost it is 10 um 10 o'clock and i woke up probably like 15 minutes ago and i every year sit down and read my i make a journal entry on january 1st just about the year about my past year and about like the things that worked the things that didn't work how i'm feeling just like where i thought my life would be and where it is and so it's just become like a tradition every year for me to sit down and read my past journal entry and write another one um and then i kind of want to think about just my goals for this year um I feel like we'll sit down and just like have a conversation maybe a little bit later about my goals um but i feel like i've accomplished so much so i'm like what my memory ran out but i was saying i just don't know what i'm gonna come up with this year as far as like goals i don't know i need to look at my other ones first but first we need a cup of coffee something that i will never ever do is cut coffee out of my routine i don't think that will ever be my new year's goal I just love it too much i think it was my last video i talked to you guys about my newest coffee obsession which is how i've been making my coffee every single day since that video um <coughs> but so i put just like a little bit of locally grown locally grown locally sourced honey in my Nespresso pods and I use the Bianco Dopio Espresso pods and the only ones I use they're double espresso um, a little bit of a little bit of honey and then I mix like stir it up mix it together and then add oat milk to it it's so creamy it's the perfect amount of sweet you guys it's so good you have to try it if you have not tried it already we are taking down all the Christmas stuff. I'm gonna put a little bit of Gossip Girl in the background. And we take everything down. Baby, see? Right now! 
Trevor, right I'm real true. So I'm gonna amaze myself at a bolognese. <laughs> I'm amazed at how calm you're at. Maybe we get distracted because all we want to do is hug each other. I know! Oh. <laughs> so bad. She's a committed pair. I mean, she's gone through some of the phases with Agnes. She's grown so tall every day. Not gossip, girl. This is going to be so informal. Come here, Hoosier. Sit down, baby. Um, but I wanted to just kind of like review. Hey, baby. Oh my goodness. Sit down. You guys sit. Hoosier is so freaked out from the fireworks last night. He slept under our bed until 6 a.m. this morning. Um, he usually sleeps in bed with us. Camper was in his crate all evening, not because like we created him, but because like that's his safe place. So he just like went in there, even like despite giving them trazodone, they were both completely on edge. So. Hoosier has not left my side today. Sit down, Bubba. Sit. Oh, great. Now my, my camera's flashing. Hi, honey. So we're going to do this <laughs> together. Um, but I kind of wanted to go through what my 2023 resolutions were or manifestations with you guys. Because um, I just think like they're funny and whatever. So my first 2023 manifestation was to get more into fashion, find my style, and spend more money on quality clothes, which... I feel like I kind of did towards the end of the year as I got super comfortable like in my body I started my newly subscription which I loved but I'm still like that's still something I want to bring into the new year with me my second resolution was to lift heavy in the gym um, consume more protein get leaner and stronger I definitely did not consume more protein um, but I definitely leaned out this year and I'm so proud of myself because I feel like that has been on my new year's resolution for probably the past five years and like I'm I just I love my body right now and where I am so it's something I'm really proud of um another thing is that I wanted to make a certain amount of money this year just on my own with like my nurse practitioner job with social media and then with my business of the glow bar which was not a thing in January but um it was just like make this certain amount of money by myself without Seth's income. I did not reach that, but I still like love that I made that a goal. Um, I wanted to cultivate a cozy environment that made my house peaceful and homey, which is something that I, I love my house and I love my decor and everything like that. But something that I think I've talked about a little bit on TikTok is the fact that my dogs are attached at the hip to me. And it almost like gives me anxiety being at home because of that, because I cannot go anywhere or do anything without them being right beside me so i think i'm going to look into at least getting camper training this year he is just like he's not a bad dog by any means but he just needs to be trained so badly so he goes to daycare right now as you guys know which helps him get out a lot of his energy but he needs to be trained so i think that's something i'm going to look into this year um, my next resolution was to travel to places I've never been and enjoy luxury parts of traveling. The only place that I went to this year that I have never been to before was Moab, Utah. It was not luxury travel, but it was fun. So I'm okay with that. I also wanted to meditate daily and focus on my breath more. I did not do that. And then I wanted to transfer to a cardiology nurse practitioner position and be confident in my practice. I did not transfer to cardiology, but you guys, I am so confident in my practice now in primary care. I know that there's so much that I don't know and so much that I'm still learning, but like I really feel like I take care of my patients well, which is such a goal for me. It's something that I wanna to continue to cultivate in 2024, so that makes me so happy. Now on to my 2024 manifestations. I don't have many because I kind of want to focus this year on doing monthly goals because i think that that will be a better way for me to focus on goals um so my first one is to write down my goals and intention every month so that i can organize my month make the best out of my month um and kind of have like monthly goals so i did january goals maybe we'll go over that in the next video if i want to like keep you guys up to date with everything um, and then my next goal was to create a group of solid girlfriends that are uplifting and fun to be around, host more, have girls nights, things like that. I have friends in Florida, but I don't have a group of girlfriends. And I, okay, so sorry. I had to reset because my battery died. Um, so I was talking about friends and like creating a group of friends here in Tampa that feels like 
um, basically I want to, I want to like cultivate the feeling of when I was in college and I had all my friends around and it was just, yeah, it was just fun. So that's kind of the vibe I'm going for in 2024. Like just prosperous. <laughs> if I had a word to describe it, I did pick a word of the year and I'll tell you guys about that in a second. But my third goal is to go all or nothing on myself. I really, really, really want to go part-time at my job um, by the end of the year. And meaning that my business of the Glow Bar, which is like my mobile Botox company, and obviously I do make money from social media. I don't make a ton of money from it, but um, I do make money on social media. I want that to become like the glow bar and my Botox stuff to become my primary source of income so that I can cut back on my hours at work. I just really want to work for myself and have more flexibility in my schedule. And yeah, I so that I can like go on vacations whenever I want to and not have to like ask for time off or I don't know. That's just like one of the things that I really see for myself in the future is being able to work for myself and make my own income i don't know if i will ever give up working as like in primary care for an office setting full time like i think i will always do that part time because i do really enjoy it but i would love to scale back my hours on that so that i am able to put more time into my own things so that's like probably one of my biggest goals of 2024 my next goal, which is actually one of my January goals, is to prioritize my nighttime routine. I have fallen into such a bad habit of like watching TV until it's 10, 15, and I then brush my teeth and go lay in bed and have a hard time falling asleep. Um, I have fallen off of reading. I have fallen off of my meditation practice and just like winding down and drinking magnesium and all that stuff. And I, that was stuff that I was really enjoying in like the summer fall and i really want to get back into that because i feel like i rest better one thing about the aura ring it has taught me that i thought i got enough sleep at night but i do not um i need eight hours of sleep or i just don't feel like a functioning human being i'm like short for like short tempered um i feel like i don't get as get in as good of workout so i really want to prioritize getting eight hours of sleep and like creating this nighttime routine it is harder now i have noticed the shift really happened when i went from working five days a week to four day four days a week like and working five eight hour shifts versus four ten hour shifts i get home later and so i end up watching more tv or hanging out with my husband more in the evenings because I didn't I don't have as much time in the evenings as I used to and so yeah that is something that I have noticed but it's fine we're gonna get back into that and then my last goal of 2024 is to make financially smart decisions um I have always prioritized things like investing having a 401k having a Roth IRA um and things like that but i really want to expand our portfolio as in like investing in real estate if the market falls i would love to buy another house and keep the house that we currently have as passive income and maybe rent it out that's like a big goal of seth and i's is to invest in real estate so yeah we will see i'm thinking about getting maybe like a financial advisor because i do um like i said i do have a lot of investments and i want to make sure that i'm investing in the right things and doing the right stuff with my money. So those are my 2024 manifestations, but my 2024 word of the year, actually, let me talk to you guys about this for a second. So I think for the past three years, I have picked a word of the year. I first saw this on like somebody's podcast or something, and they were talking about not doing goals and doing just like a word of the year and a, a word that they want to encompass their year and they want to like marinate on that. And I really loved that idea. So the first year that I did that was in 2021. And that is the year that I, I picked the, the word growth. And that is the year that I started my NP school rotations. I grew so much during that. Um, I also scaled back my hours working in the hospital. I grew my social media and I like revamped my YouTube and started doing that again. I believe that was 2021. Um, so I saw like tremendous growth in 2021. And so I was like, I have to do this again and pick a word. So 2022, I picked up the word thrive. 
And I felt like I did that to a certain degree. I felt like I was thriving being out of the hospital, like getting my first NP job, though it was a little, as we know, it was not an amazing scenario. I felt like I was thriving financially because I was like having a solid income again. I felt like I was thriving in the source that I was like finally stepping into what I have dreamed about doing since I was 14 like in sorry I heard my husband um like not 14 since 2014 when I graduated high school so that was my word of the year for 2022 and then 2023 I picked the word dream because I just really wanted to like focus on what big things could I do in my life and like really tailoring down like what did I want and last year I started my Botox company so I feel like that was a big dream of mine that came to fruition so this year, 2024, I picked the word abundance and I have tampered or tailored, toyed, toyed. <laughs> I have toyed with picking this word for probably the last two years, honestly, because I felt like I really wanted to lean into abundance, um, but it didn't feel right. But this year, like something about it felt right. And I really like, I want to be financially abundant. I want to be my health. I feel like I have like kind of come into like this abundance in my health. So I want to be that. I want to be financially abundant. I want to be like, I want there to be abundance of travel in my life. Um, and I want there to be abundance in my businesses, my social media, my career as a nurse practitioner. So I don't know, that just felt like the right word this year. But anyway, I feel like I have talked enough. I have shown you guys enough of the last few days so i'm gonna end this vlog here happy new year i am so thankful for you guys um i wish you guys the happiest new year i hope that you continue to dream and reach all of your own goals um and remember that your goals don't have to be like gigantic they can be something as small as getting up 10 minutes earlier every day or drinking an extra glass of water like those are really tangible goals so yeah um Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a great holiday season. I'm kind of sad that the holidays are over now, but we're like stepping into a new season. It's beautiful weather here in Florida, which I'm always so grateful for this time of year where it's like cloudy and gray everywhere else. We have like the sunshine and the perfect temperature. So yes, um, I go back to work tomorrow. So I'll probably start a, the next vlog you guys see will probably be like a week in my life working kind of back to that normal thing. I do think in the new year, I'm going to start to do some more educational videos on my TikTok, because, I mean, on my YouTube, because I want to like sit down and explain things. Whereas on TikTok, I feel like I can only take up like a minute and 30 seconds before nobody cares anymore. Whereas I want to like sit down and go over things and go over medication classes and like things that I know. I think that would be more beneficial on this platform than on TikTok. And I can just divert people from my TikTok here, so. I think we're gonna try to get more into that content this year. So we'll look out for that, look out for more vlogs, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.